All right, welcome back. This is lesson three of the drug map tutorial. In this lesson, we're going to be getting into the nuts and bolts, and we're really going to start uh, doing some of the formulas for drug map. I'm going to introduce the master formula, and this is basically just a math formula that you can use for any type of drug calculation. It really simplifies things. It might look complex at first, but uh, we'll go over kind of every aspect of it and break it down. Here's how the master formula goes. It's desired dose times the patient's weight in kilograms times the solution set over concentration times time, and that's time in minutes. In minutes. Okay, so write that down somewhere so you remember it and you can uh, keep it handy. It's desired dose times the patient's weight times the solution set over concentration times time. So you need to know when to use the formula or just different parts of the formula because you're not going to use every one of those components for every type of drug calculation. In fact, you rarely will use every single part of the formula. Uh, the desired dose tells you exactly what parts you will need. So here's an uh, example. If you have a desired dose of 5 micrograms per kilogram over 10 minutes, you're going to use every uh, part of that formula because it is an infusion that you're giving over time. Now there's different forms of desired doses and that will kind of guide you into what parts of the formula you're going to need. So if you just had a desired dose of 30 milligrams, it's going to be a very easy uh, formula to compute. All you'll really need is your desired dose and your uh, concentration. If you had 30 milligrams per kilogram, that's a weight-based dose, so you would obviously need to include the patient's weight. And then if you get into something like 30 milligrams per kilogram per minute, all right, you're now going to be giving an infusion, so you're going to need a solution set. And if you had to do that over 10 minutes, you would then need to include the time component of the master formula. So again, 30 milligrams, you would just use the desired dose and concentration. For 30 milligrams per kilogram, that's a weight-based dose, so now we have to include the patient's weight. For 30 milligrams per kilogram per minute, that's an infusion, so we're going to need uh, the weight because it is a weight-based infusion, and we're going to need the solution set. And then if we had a weight-based infusion that we were giving over a certain amount of time, we're going to need to include that time component. So the first thing you're going to do uh, when, whenever you have anything in this master formula is you're going to want to simplify. And for lack of a better term, we're going to call every sort of measurement, uh, we're going to call it a variable. Okay, so these are all your variables, everything I'm underlining here. And whenever you see a variable that exists more than one time in the master formula, you can just cross it out. So I've done that in this next slide. Uh, we have micrograms on the top of the formula and we have it on the bottom, so we can just go ahead and cross that out. Next, we have kilograms on the top and in the weight. Uh, so you have it in the desired dose and in the weight, so we can cross out kilograms. And then you can cross out uh, milliliters as well because it's in the solution set and in the concentration. All right, if this is confusing you, it'll make more sense when we throw some numbers in there. But this would show you the form of, uh, that, your, that your solution is going to be in. So this particular solution would be in drops per minute. Okay, because we've crossed everything else out, so you're left with drops in minute, and this, this would be in uh, drops per minute. All your infusions are going to end up in drops per minute, okay? So let's do it with some numbers in the uh, master formula. So here we have uh, 5 micrograms per kilogram per minute times a patient's weight of 50 kilograms times 10 drops per milliliter, because you're using a 10-drop set over 1600 micrograms per milliliter. That's your concentration. So we've crossed out all the doubles and then we just put circles around what was left and we were left with drops and we were left with minute. So your answer is going to be in drops per minute. Okay. And if I'm confusing you when I say drops, I'm talking about this GTTS. That is the abbreviation for drops. So then you would be left with just the, the numbers, 5 times 50 times 10 over 1,600. You would work out that math, and whatever your solution would be, uh, that's how many drops per minute you would be uh, administering. You can simplify further. If you have a 0 on the bottom and a 0 on top, since this is multiplication on the top, okay, you can simplify each one of these numbers individually with the bottom number, with the numerator. 
Okay, so we have a zero on the bottom and a zero on the top, so we can get rid of those. We have a second zero on the top and a second zero on the bottom, so we can get rid of those. And you're left with five times five times one over 16. That is much easier math. You would be left with uh, 25 times one over 16, and then 25 over 16. You would have to work that out. 25 divided by 16 is about 1.5625, okay? Uh, and then you would uh, go ahead and round that about two drops per minute. Anything that is 0.5 or higher or greater, you're going to round it up to the next number. So that's it for uh, lesson three. I will see you back in lesson four, and we will do some uh, medications in the master formula.